We are here in Thistilfjord of the Fjord at the northeastern tip of Iceland. The cod have swum into the fjord to spawn. Most of the cod that mature in northern coastal waters will make their way south to warmer waters to spawn. Although there are spawning grounds here on the northern coast like this little haven here in Thistilfjordr. Cod in Icelandic waters begin to spawn as spring approaches in March and April in the ocean to the south, but usually a bit later on in the waters in the north and around the western fjords, sometimes well into May. However, here in Thistilfjordr things have got going quite a bit sooner than that. The shallow fjord and the spring sunshine both contribute to warming the sea and the cod here spawn around the same date as their cousins in the south. Here we see a large female almost at bursting point with roe. A female 80 centimeters long can carry around 2.3 million eggs. A fish 100 centimeters in length can carry in excess of 4.3 million eggs. Each egg however is tiny just under one and a half millimeters across. Here we see unique footage of cod mating. Until now the only footage of this has been recorded in tanks or aquariums. The male and female position themselves with their bodies together. The female sprays her eggs and the male ejects his sperm. The fertilized eggs drift around in the water and hatch within 10 to 12 days depending on the temperature. The larvae from an egg hatched in March become zero stage fry by July or August. Cod are their own worst enemies and at this stage many small fry are eaten by the larger fish. In turn the fry eat smaller fry. The first few months of their lives are spent at the mercy of the sea and the prevailing currents. They have little say in the matter as to where they will end up. Eventually they find their way to the sea bottom. By this time they may have travelled long distances to the other side of the country or even drifted all the way to Greenland. By now there are at least 100 to 300 million year old fry in the sea. If every egg laid managed to survive to this stage we would only need 100 females to produce this number of offspring. It's estimated that there are tens of millions of fertile female cod in the sea. This means that 99.9% .9 of the fry will perish before reaching maturity. Quite a battle for survival. <laughs>